People are going to be tracked from the cradle to the grave with microchip implants that digitally store everything there is to know about them, including their finances and their ability to make transactions. That's why I tend to think that the microchip might be the mark of the beast. It says no one can buy or sell unless they have the mark. People all over the world are doing experimental microchipping. Not to mention what's happening now with ID2020. We're also moving towards a cashless society with every day that passes. This pandemic is carrying multiple agendas forward. The push for centralized control of information, which is censorship and narrative control. The cashless agenda forming out of the economic crash taking place right now and the fear of passing germs through the use of physical money, martial law quarantines, mandatory vaccination, and digital identification via microchipping. This situation is the biggest show of force and seizure of power that anyone alive today has ever seen in their lifetime. This is very serious. Life is not going back to normal ever again. It truly is the end of the world as we know it. We need to take a stand. Refuse forced vaccines. Destroy 5G technology any chance we get. And don't let them fill you up with fear. From what I gather, they lose in the end anyway. You know, I really hope that's true. And this life is only temporary, so don't be scared. Be strong and stand up for yourselves. I know one thing for sure. I'll die or be thrown in a FEMA camp or worse, before going along with what they're doing right now. Maybe you should consider doing the same thing. This has been ODD. Never sleep again, my friends. Take care. So this is where the microchip implant story begins. You will be chipped, it's just a matter of time. A small firm recently embedded microchips in their employees as a way to bypass company badges and corporate logons and to get attention for their cafeteria kiosks, which are available on a cashless payment plan like Apple Pay. The latest office innovation is a microchip implanted in the skin and designed to replace the traditional keypad for opening doors, using the copier, even buying food in the cafeteria. Employees at a vending company are going from the assembly line to front of the pack to get microchipped. Do you think this is the future? It is the future and we look at this as uh, uh, being responsible. The implant, which has been FDA approved, is the size of a grain of rice and is injected under the skin between the thumb and index finger by a licensed piercer. I think it's the wave of the future that we'll all have implanted chips that have our medical records. So you would do it? Sure. Okay. So you're carrying around a phone anyway. This is a microchipping party. Hannah's getting an electronic chip implanted into her hand. So congratulations, Hannah. Thank you. You've been chipped. Yes, I have. How does it feel? It feels good. I'm, I'm excited to see what I'll be able to do now. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can, you can feel it there. I feel like this is the future. It's the next big thing that's going to happen. A tiny microchip like this inserted just beneath the skin in their hands. This technology will, one day, change the way we live. But in the future, we will all be chipped. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. Is a cashless society inevitable? How long will it take before we're cashless? Many countries are fast moving towards a cashless society. Between 2000 and 2015, non-cash payments in the U.S. grew by almost 400%. Venmo, the mobile app where people can pay each other on a smartphone, now processes $2 billion a month. This year, Apple added similar payment capabilities in iMessage. These free services are so popular, 30 major banks recently launched a competing product called Zelle. It would be better if we were more like Sweden, where cash has nearly been phased out. And the U.S. will get there, too, in another five or ten years. There's no question that 
cash, you know, is in its last era. China's cashless revolution has happened in just three years. In order to avoid the risk of transmission through physical handling of money, we encourage the use of cashless transactions such as mobile money, and pesa and otherwise, and credit cards. Well, health experts say the coronavirus can live on surfaces like cash for up to 10 days. That has many people worried about shopping and other everyday tasks. The standard narrative in society is that cashlessness, quote-unquote cashlessness, is a sort of organic process just percolating from the bottom up by ordinary individual people who are just sort of making these organic decisions to switch to this other thing, right? Um, now, this is pure, if you want to, like, this, this is a, a, a pure, to put it crudely, capitalist ideology, corporate capitalist ideology, where essentially you always want to focus attention on the small person in society, quote unquote, the consumer, all right, the sort of like random person who wanders around in markets, who apparently controls what's going on in the world, all right? Of course, if you actually go and ask any person in society, how much agency do you believe that you had in the emergence of this technology, almost nobody believes they had anything to do with the emergence of the technology, all right? What actually happens is that large-scale institutions Institutions push the stuff onto you for various commercial reasons and various other reasons. Um, and the, the large-scale institutions love to disguise themselves and just never talk about themselves as if they're just not there. All right. So it, what, it's the story about the war on cash is a, a, a bunch of us who are trying to say, actually, over the last few decades, a large-scale institutions, banks, payments companies, governments, have all been actively um, eroding the cash system to slowly make it more and more likely that you're going to quote unquote choose. Uh, to go to the digital systems, okay? Now you might believe that you're choosing this, um, but actually the whole environment is being structured in a way that makes you more and more likely to do it. The biblical entry point for any discussion of the one world economic system, a, a cashless society, an end time prophecy, is Revelation 13, 16 to 18. He causes all, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, and the free men and the slaves to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. He provides that no one should be able to buy or to sell except the one who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For the number is that of a man, and his number is 666. The Bible clearly links the global mark of the beast system with the emergence of a cashless society. One world government, a new global economy ruled by one man is coming. The banking overlord is coming. And he'll have a solution that everyone will indeed, quote, bow down to, end quote, and he's called Antichrist. And he will have his mark. He will do this for increased control of commerce. It will be perfect and complete control. His economic policy is very simple. Take my mark and worship me or starve. No mark, no merchandise. No seal, no sale. So if you want to function in this new economy under this coming world leader, you have to take the mark. Just go quietly into the night There's forces of darkness at work and they're restricting the light I'm so fed up with the lies they tell us this isn't right It's ODD TV, you best believe I'll get up and fight This is my plight, I'll never let you cowards get the best of me Took the red pill, now it's time to fulfill my destiny Living like I'm Neo, dipping from my P.O.